By the way, I like to start the way with. normally is my laundry. I like to go ahead and separate all of our clothes before getting started. Check pockets and everything just to make sure there's nothing in there. I try to wait at least until the end of the week to get the laundry done so that we're prepared for the upcoming week. Uh, so it's not all the time that this is a part of my process on the daily tidying up. Right there, don't you stress the flow. You're trying to pick the pace up. We should take it slow. Baby, keep your focus. Don't you make me change my mind. If you love me, baby, don't you switch up the fight. Baby, don't you. Baby, don't you. Baby, don't you switch up the fight. Baby, don't you. Baby, don't you. While I was doing the laundry, I heard the doorbell. A package that my mom ordered for Taylor was delivered. She's going to be super excited. Now, the night before yesterday, I fell asleep and the kids said, Oh, mom, we'll get it. We'll clean the um, kitchen and everything. Needless to say, it was not done to my liking. So I'm going to go ahead and start my breakfast and clean. Now, if you've been here for a while, then you know I do intermittent fasting. So even with me doing intermittent fasting, I'm still a breakfast girl. I don't care what time of day it is. I just do not feel complete if I do not have breakfast food. So I'm going to start with making my coffee. Um, I'm going to have some chicken sausage and you'll see the rest.
fast easy to count my um, intermittent fasting hours and as you can see I was over my time I usually do 16 hours and this particular day I fasted for ni over 19 hours Y'all, I go to Dollar General to get this stuff on my list. How did I spend $53? I don't like that for me and my homegirls. But I ordered some, well, I got some more of these. They are the, the air wick diffusers. I have one up in my law. And I don't know where I'll put the other one. It might be in my room. But when I tell y'all, those things last for a long time time like mine still be going off and i think i got this around christmas so the scents that i got was linen and petals and when i bought the device itself it came with like a lavender scent which i wasn't a fan of i like lavender for like bath time and relaxation but to be smelling it all the time i don't want that and my hair has air dried and i didn't put anything on there um so this is how big it typically gets but if i would have put like gel it would have been more defined than this um and i'm just glad that my curl pattern and everything is coming back but yeah it says that I, one refill lasts up to 45 days but mine i have not bought any since today so the scent that i got was linen and petals and that smells pretty decent that i can tell and then I also got happiness or whatever. And this is supposed to be pineapple, peach, and wild mint fragrance. Mmm. And I'm not even really a big soda drinker. But you know how you see some in the store and you got to try it. I saw this Dream World Coca-Cola. Zero calories. So um, I'm not going to feel too guilty about it. But let me see what it's giving. I forget what it said it's supposed to tastes like let me see mm, that's not good that's good but um it kind of has like a fruity taste what is it I, I can't compare it to anything comment down below if y'all ever had it and i got this big thing of paper towels because we drown paper towels and i'll be trying to tell my kids to use the disinfectant wipes which i had to go ahead and get some more of them i got the generic because what's really the difference some of these are even made in the same factory and that smells good and i also got some more chicken skin and i got uh fresh lavender so i don't mind cleaning with it and all that but I wanted something different. So now what I'm about to do, and this is like what I try to do on my morning routines. Like when the kids are not here, I try to empty out the dishwasher, load the dishwasher, try to get as much stuff done, even though it didn't look like it. But the last couple of days, I have been so exhausted, so tired that they'll be like, oh, mom, we'll do it. I think they just be trying to really get me to go somewhere out their hair because they really don't be doing nothing. So it's Friday. And it's a holiday weekend. I want to try to get as much stuff done while I'm home to myself. And I can do it the way that I like to. And I think it's going to even be a pizza night for them. Because I'm going to be exhausted. Um, but I'm about to empty the dishwasher and put the dishes up. Go put the clothes that I washed earlier into the dryer. Um, I'm going to download a Audible book. I've been really liking them. I like Colleen Hoover. I have gotten into that. Um, my good sis Michelle, uh, Life with Michelle D on Instagram, she posted about her and I listened to an audible because when you're constantly on the go and you barely have a chance to sit down, those work for me. I know some people don't like the voices and there's been a couple that I have not been able to get into for that reason, but I've been having some good luck. So I'm going to um, do that while I'm folding clothes, but of course y'all know I'm going to bring y'all along with me. Oh, and I got some of these um i'm a snacker if y'all don't know by now every now and then 
Um, but I really don't have a taste for anything right now. So, because I just had my breakfast. That's the good thing about intermittent fasting. Like, you think that you're going to be starving. You feel that way. But you really get full very fast. So, that's the good thing. Lately my thoughts got me distant Darker days filling up darker minds Stuck in this room that keeps spinning Wondering how you been Here's a little trick. You all see how I clean my air fryer is. Um, I, after I washed my, well made my hash brown, I just added a little bit of water and dish soap so that it doesn't have like grease stains and everything that's what i forgot from the store but i'm gonna just rinse this out and put it back and there you have it hey y'all welcome back so since the last time i checked in y'all getting these case and came home and I'm eating my last meal of the day, which is Marco's Pizza. When I tell y'all, if y'all have a Marco's, y'all definitely have to check it out. I just wanted to come on and thank you guys for watching. I just wanted to show you how every day I try to do something around the house. Um, try to check off my to-do list. Like before, I used to just wait until the weekend. But now it's just like do a little bit here and there. Some things that are off limits for me are like the kids' room and their bathrooms. And even the bathroom downstairs. So, on Wednesday, Casey might have the upstairs, Jordan may have the downstairs, and then on Sunday, they have it. So, they alternate. So, whoever has Wednesday bathroom, but they're all responsible for, like, their own rooms and everything. And even as far as Taylor, I don't know if I said this in this video or not, she has, like, little chores. She knows how to sweep on her own. She will start the dishwasher. She will wipe down things. She likes to be a part of it. She does not like to be the only one that's not doing something. Um, so we're just going to kick back and enjoy our weekend, holiday weekend. Um, yeah, but I strongly, just so that you're not overwhelmed with anything, I strongly encourage you to have a nighttime routine, a daytime routine, um, just so that everybody, especially if you have a family, knows the intentions and expectations from one another. It really helps me and my family out a lot, uh, because nobody can sit up there and say, oh, we didn't know. Um. Yeah, but I'll see you guys on the next video. If you haven't done so already, I would appreciate it if you guys go hit that subscribe button. See you on the next one.